Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you the, some actual math stuff. So, what you do is go to equation mode, which you press setup, and um, the mode I mean, then click on 3. 3? Then you have a whole list. Right now, you just click on 1. So, okay, this this is for something like... For example, if you have a form, if you have a sequence, something like two, four, six, eight, ten, or one, three, five, seven, nine, and the intervals are always the same, the uh, the amount, the the number in between, the consecutive numbers in the series are the same. Then you go to this mode. This mode is the linear mode. So what do you do? You press. One, you press one again, and then you enter the first number of the sequence. Let's just say you want to do one, three, five, seven to get press in one. Then this one you type in two, type in one, so and type in three. Then it'll give you two x minus one. That's the formula for it. So for x is actually for this x you get it's for uh, two, 2n minus 1, okay, use 2n so that you won't get confused with these x built in x. <coughs> the built in x is actually is the number before you, uh, the, the number multiplied by the x, uh, uh, the n, sorry, and the built in y is the number, just the number subtracted or added. So we get x equals to 2 and y equals to minus 1 then the formula is 2n minus 1 let's try another one what would you like actually no wait um, what why do I put 1 1 and then I put 2 1 the reason is you put okay because we are using the first number and the second number put in 1 and 2 but actually you can put any number here but this has to be 1 Okay, both of these have to be 1. So it's just like that, okay. So, for example, if you want, if you ha want to, are asked to find the second number, and you know the third number, then you can um, change this to 3, and this is 5. Hopefully, you should still get the same number, but I suggest you don't do that, because it'll take longer for it to load, but yeah, you still get the same thing. So that's for linear. Okay, now we're moving on to quadratic. Uh, yeah, you go to equation. Okay, then you get this, then you press 2. So you get a bigger grid. This time there are four columns and three rows. So again, you, what you do is you press 1, 1, 1, and the first number. Let's say you want to do, let's try 1. What 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 should I do? <sighs> one two four whatever. I really don't know, but I just that was just random. Then here you put four to one because f the first column is okay. Sorry, column A is the number is is okay. Column A is the position of the number you're gonna put in D squared. This one is the position you're going to put in the number of d without doing anything to it, to the power of 1, okay. And this is the position to the power of 0. So anything to the power of 0 is 1, with the exception of 0, which is a um, math error. So let's try 1, 2, and 4. So you put, guess, yes, you're right, 9, 3, 1, then whatever that third number is then equals half n squared minus half n plus one that's the formula so yeah you I think you get what the X Y and Z are right now right because I've just set it up um yes that's for linear and quadratic sadly I haven't found how to do cubic on this yet but yeah, if you have found it, please put it in the comments. 
I might do a new video. Okay. Now for the third one, you go to um, solving for quadratic. So it's three. For example, if you have what? Uh, half, half, and minus half, and one, which was just now what we got. Equals to one. So, but you want it to equal to zero because that is how it works. So you have to minus one from both sides. So instead of one, you have to put zero because one minus one equals to zero. So you put in zero and press equals. So x1 equals to one. So the first, the first number in the sequence equals to one. Uh, uh, first number of the sequence equals to one, and the zeroth number of the sequence technically also equals to one. But you, if it's if it's zero or a negative number, then you wouldn't want to uh, accept it, right? Because if the school asks you for one answer, then you just put in the positive answer. Yeah, especially if it's just a sequence. Okay. Now, uh, what you can do with this? can type in i because normally if you get it put in random numbers it won't be nice and you get a number plus another number multiplied by i now this i is actually the square root of negative one why it's i is because it cannot be expressed if you try typing in square root of minus one you get a math error so yeah so it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it just gives you I because um, that's all you can get. Um, so what if I change B to zero and C is one? You will actually get X one equals to I and X two equals to minus I. So if you want to show, can you type this? Then you cover this up and you can see. Ah, then they won't know how to type unless they've watched this video or they read read the manual or what. Okay, that's solving for them. How about solving for cubic equations? Now click on equation then four. So this A B C D, same thing. What if if you randomly put numbers, you're most likely to get something times I Okay, wait, it's taking very long. No, wait, huh? Okay, wait, it turned out... Okay, good. There's an I right there. So, if you... Let's see what works. You can get... You... you the maximum you get is 3x's. Okay, so... If you want to get I... There'll be i and minus i. You put 0 for a, 1 for b, 0 for c, and 1 for d. Oopsie. Did I do it correctly? No, no, no. How about 1, 0, 1, 0? Right. Okay. 1, 0, 1, 0. You get i and... Wait. And minus i. And x3 is 0. So, yeah. Um... That's about all I have for now. See you in the next video. Okay, no, no, wait. Wait, no, before that. I'm going to have a kind of a little advertisement here. Um, please go to thingy2017.weebly.com. That's T-H-I-N-G-Y 2017.weebly.com. That is a, a website that's run by me and my friends, and it's a news website. There's supposed to be some current affairs right now, but uh, we're going to put it up sooner or later. Um, right now, there's um, interesting fake news, um, entertaining news, not, not really news, just stories or stuff. Um, you can go there. Um, it's really interesting. Please subscribe to the uh, thingy and... The, on the website also you can subscribe to the thingy um the thingy youtube channel just search youtube for 
capital T, small h, small e, capital T, small h, small i, small n, small g, small y, space, capital N, small e, small w, small s, small p, small a, small p, small e, small r. And you should be able to find the thingy newspaper. Please watch our advertisements. Um, yes, uh, and also subscribe to the thingy on the website. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Okay, thank you very much if you like this video. Please subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video.